pretty dark inside the camper so today my dad's helping me and we're gonna cut a hole in the side to put our new windows in it. These are Arctic Turn windows and they're from Expedition Upfitter in British Columbia. So we'll go ahead and cut the hole. Got one window hole cut in it. We're gonna go ahead and put the other one now in the front. Uh, it's gotta go up here for reasons that, well, you can't know right now, but you'll know later. And this is where it's gonna go. So it's going in the nose. Hopefully you'll be able to lay in bed and look up and see some stars. What are you drawing here, Everly? That's a rainbow. Those are stars. That's a unicorn. That's a puppet. That's a butterfly. That's an ice cream cone. And that's a dinosaur. Good job coloring. Actually, that was mommy. I can't do that very much. You can learn. Okay. I'm making. Because we have no pictures of Alina on the wall yet? Yeah. You're not on the wall? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Mm. Ever, baby. Everly. Okay, Everly. let's see Alina's picture. Uh. Ow. Does it look like her? Yeah, but oh. it still looks like her. Holes are all cut now on the inside of the camper. We're gonna go ahead and put an inch by inch and a half piece of board around the outside of the window so that when the window compresses together, it won't smush the styrofoam, it'll go onto the wood and that way it should prevent any leaks. And that's what the instructions say to do, so we'll follow them, see how it goes. Hard to see right now. I got the top of the bunk area all cleared off. Anywhere with a darker foam is a one inch foam instead of half inch. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead now, go outside, use my skill saw, and I'm gonna cut the floor to put in the bunk so when I'm crawling up there to do the window, I'm not only on styrofoam. Pretty tight quarters up here in the bunk. Thankful for this window right now. It gives me a little bit of headroom. Uh, just doing the same thing I did on the other windows. I got my inch and a half by one inch boards. We're gonna go ahead, put the boards on this window too. Carve away the foam, make it fit. After four coats of paint on the Maranti on the inside, it's time to put in our windows. See the 
windows in place from the outside. I've got a trim ring on the inside to put on, and then there's a certain length of screws that come with it for tightening it up to compress them together. Uh, they also say to use some anti-seize lubricant, so I'll be putting that on the screws as I put it together, and uh, well, we'll see how it fits. So the side window is all installed. We have a smaller one that goes in the front here. It's going on the angle. Um, I have no idea if it's going to leak, but it's worth a try. Try not to put it in upside down. Alright, the windows are both all installed. Uh, like I said before, they came from Expedition Upfitter in British Columbia. Not sponsored by them, but they gave great service and their stuff came quickly and on time. And well, windows for RVs are hard to find and these are a great product. So I think we're going to be pretty happy with it and we'll do a review later and let you know what we think. Anyways, next video we're going to be doing the electrical. That's really the next main step before we can use this thing. So. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out and you can follow along. We'll see you next time.